Well, what an exciting day. One that uh, some of us have waited a long time for, and some thought it would never come. However, can I just go on record of saying, if you know Brittany at all, you know when she sets her sights on something, it's as good as hers, even if it takes a decade. <laughs> and I would also say that you knew this day would come and it would be filled with deep love, passion, and emotion. But my eyes started to leak long before your words as I stepped into the room. And saw you. I also knew that it would be a day that would be not just filled with love and emotion, but there would be an incredible guy that would be a part of that scenario. Cameron, you're that guy. And so Julie and I welcome you with open arms. Thanks for the note that you gave us. More than once signed, you're soon to be son, but now you are. I know that the road leading up to today has had its share of twists and turns, ups and downs, bumps along the way. However, you two have developed a love for each other that's incredibly real. It's not based on emotion alone, although we knew there would be plenty of emotion. However, if it was, you wouldn't be standing here preparing to pledge your love to one another for the rest of your lives. You've learned through the ups and downs of everyday life what some people unfortunately never learn. And that's simply this, that love is not a feeling, it's an act of the will. It's a choice. So I've been asked on a number of occasions, starting with Carissa, following with Danny, and then Brittany, what's it like giving your daughter away and then doing their wedding as well? We were having a family dinner, and at one point in the evening, everybody was pretty much done eating, and Brittany reached over and 
she grabbed my arm and goes, Dad, can we talk about your part in the wedding? And I said, well, of course we can. I said, what are you thinking? What do you want? She goes, well, Dad, you're my dad. So of course I want you to walk me down the aisle and give me away. And then she said, but will you do for me what you did for both of my sisters? And of course, we had a moment, and uh, it's just an honor to be able to be a part of this side of the journey with you. Brittany, you're my best friend. You're the most beautiful, smart, loving, and caring person that I've ever known. Your love consumes everything around you, and I'm blessed to be the man standing across from you today. Oh, we have been through so much. I've put you through, through so much over the years, yet each day it seems that your love, patience, and understanding continues to grow. And you believed in me when it felt like no one else, including myself, did. You have made me the person that I am today, and without you I'd be lost. Who would have thought that the kids we were six years ago would be standing together stronger than ever? Brittany, I want you to know that I will stand by your side forever. I promise to support you in all your dreams, to care for you at all times, to be the shoulder you cry on, even when you're a blood ring miss, <laughs> which I'm surprised you're not. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I've had to trust you and to be honest with you. I'll be patient, kind, forgiving. But most of all, I promise that I'll always love you. Britt, I hope you know how much I love you. I'm wearing a freaking bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I will never, ever, ever stop loving you. <laughs> oh, I can't keep you yet, right? <laughs> That's coming. Watch yourself. Dang it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cameron, for us it may, it may not have been love at first sight, but in time you without a doubt have become the love of my life. Our journey has been like no other, but I leave, believe that is what makes us so unique. For a while it seemed as though the majority of the world doubted or was against us, but we persevered and look at where we are now. <clears throat> proclaiming, proclaiming our love in front of our family and friends. I am extremely grateful to my parents for this because they taught us girls something since birth, birth and that is unconditional love. While things may not always be easy, love triumphs all. And this is a huge factor in why we are able to be standing here today. Sorry. Thank you for being the best part of me, for finding weird ways to make me smile when I am sad or down, for putting me in my place when needed, for always reminding me to be the bigger person and for always taking care of me better than anyone ever has or could. I promise to stand by your side through it all, the good, the bad, the joyous, and the ugly. I promise to laugh at your jokes. Okay, well, most of them. <laughs> and to continue to buy as many fish with you as we possibly can, no matter how many we can't keep alive until we can build a family of our own. <laughs> I promise to be your sounding board, to be your safe place, and to defend you whether or not you are present. I promise to always try to bring out the best in you and to always encourage you to be the best version of yourself. I promise I will continue to love you unconditionally, to be your best friend until we breathe our last breaths. You have a heart that runs deep, deeper than many may ever see, and I am blessed to be able to see that day in and day out. In the beginning, it may have taken some prying, but it was worth every second, every tear, and every fight. You are the most beautiful man I have ever seen, inside and out, and I am so fortunate to have you as my best friend, and now husband. Cameron and Brittany, you've come before us and before God, and you've expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection by joining hands. You've made promises of faith and devotion to another for life and you've sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a representative of Jesus Christ, 
before Almighty God in the presence of your family and friends in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you one together. And I take great pleasure in pronouncing you as husband and wife. And agree and declare what Jeff pray that what God has joined together, nobody can tear apart. So with that, Cameron, you may kiss your bride. It's my sincere honor and privilege to present to you for the first time the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Dolson. a number of challenges in life as we all do and she has um, embraced change with just grace and beauty and that didn't stop at seven years old that has continued from every season in life to this day she um, has just grown into such an incredibly beautiful person she just shows a tenacity for life and she just doesn't give up and she embraces like I said that change with such grace so we are we are incredibly proud of you and so happy to be here on this day speaking of this day Danny's got a little something to share So Cameron shared with us while we were at dinner and Brittany went to the bathroom that he was going to propose to Brittany in Paris in front of the Eiffel Tower. So I'm a terrible secret keeper and so I just want a pat on the back because I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> and um, so we were just itching for this day to come because we knew this is something that Brittany has like dreamed of her whole life um, and definitely you know the time she's been with Cameron so we were just waiting for the day that we got to help her plan this day and help her get ready and like help her you know feel beautiful and um, we just felt like we had a secret with our brother and um, okay I'm gonna let her go before I cry <laughs> Cam, like, we are so excited to officially have you as a brother. You've been family for quite some time now. Um, but just the way that you love our sister and the everyday stuff, but also those, those big moments you make so important to her because they may not necessarily be for you, but they are for her. 
and that just shows you putting her first. And that um, is, is what is so important in a marriage. And so I just want to encourage both of you, Brittany, continue to grow and evolve because every time you do, you're that much more beautiful. And Cameron, continue to do those big moments and celebrate those big moments because um, that's what's going to keep your marriage strong. So if everyone could raise their glasses, here's to love and growth and change and beauty and to a beautiful life together. Cheers. Yeah. Love you to death, Cameron. I, this is seriously an honor to be here. Um, I am really nervous, but I'm also I, I wouldn't I wouldn't prefer to be anyone else anywhere else but right here. Um, and to me, has always been the strong older brother. He's always been the leader. He's always been the one to show me the way. And uh, I I wanted to share. There's a story that I that I absolutely love. Uh, one of his favorite bands, way back when. Uh, it's called the Audition. And uh, we went to this, this tiny little bar in Colorado Springs. It was tiny, it was hot and sweaty, and there was this tiny stage, and we were all packed in there like sardines, and Cameron got us right up there on the front line so that we could, you know, kiss their feet or whatever he does. <laughs> so we're watching these bands, we're having an incredible time. He took me to most of my first concerts, my first one as well. And so we're having a good time. I'm uncomfortable, obviously, and uh, I'm a little bit dehydrated. We, uh, we may or may not have had one energy drink shared between the two of us for the whole day. Maybe not the best decision. I'm not taking responsibility for that one. Though. And uh, so the audition starts and their intro is awesome and I passed out. <laughs> so this beautiful soul here, this is his favorite band and he could have he just left me there. <laughs> just like, well that's inconvenient. <laughs> But this guy, he, he, he dragged me out because I was, I was limp, I was a noodle. I was a wet, cooked noodle. And uh, he dragged me out the door and I started feeling better almost immediately. But uh, the usher wouldn't let us back in. And he missed his favorite band. And I don't know if you ever got to see them. And uh, that means the world to me. And uh, I, I want to bring it up because it, it, again, it illustrates that compassion, that generosity. Cameron has always been that guy. He's got this, you know, he's got this front. He's a little aggressive sometimes. We all know this. We all love this. <laughs> Don't deny it. We all know this. We all love this. He's an incredible person. I'm so proud to call him my brother. And uh, I want to finish up with saying that uh, something that really sticks out to me, this, this just kind of popped up in my mind in the months leading up to this. And I'm thinking about, what the heck am I going to say for your speech? I don't, I've never done this. And, um... Something crossed my mind that really touches me, um, and it's that family is what you make it. And that, that's incredible, because you have brought these families together. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. Brittany, welcome to the family. I'm really excited for this. And I can't wait to see what happens. Everybody a toast. Cameron and Brittany. Cheers. Congratulations. Their loves to the end, they are best friends. Ain't nobody 